Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Mic check, one, two. Okay, there we go. It's working. I kind of ghetto rigged this setup and shit, but hopefully it works because I got to take this in like one or two takes because Blue Mountain Steak comes on in like 30 minutes and I got sweet and sour chicken in the freezer that I got to cook before I watch that and some other activities to do before then. But anyways, I'd like to welcome myself. I'm Twisted Edge. I've been uh, messing around with beats for like three or four years basically one year steady though so you know I'm still kind of new all that fun stuff I'm still learning and I'm making this video just to share a little bit of knowledge help people get their like foundation started up like little dive into how to make beats with uh, FL studio and basically uh, you want to first start off with a pattern you know this is just a simple pattern for a simple beat that I'm gonna be making but you know sometimes it works out and so you got the kicks, the snares, the hi-hats. You know, a simple drum pattern. And if you're really new to this shit, uh, pay attention to how many kicks, how many snares, how many hi-hats I have. I mean, I might add a couple more later on. But uh, it sounds kind of full, you know? Where if you just have the one kick, it doesn't sound that, it doesn't sound full, you know? So, you know, always layer your snares, layer your kicks. And the shit's gonna sound nice. But uh, I'm basically here to teach you how to sample. Now, when I started a couple years ago, I didn't know how to sample in FL Studio. And there's different ways, and I'm gonna show you the way that uh, I basically do it when I'm looping a sample. I'm starting off with the basics just because, you know, it's always good to know the basics. So basically what you wanna do, this is a two bar pattern that I have. You can switch the pattern, that's a one bar and this is two bars so first thing you're gonna want to do is go to view and hit mixer it's gonna be right here you can't see it on the screen but the hot key for it is F9 and what I do is go to the master insert and come over here I think what I just did does some effect to the cursor in case you're you can't follow the cursor for whatever reason and uh, you're gonna click this and it's gonna bring you to a drop down menu and you're gonna want to hit select and Edison's actually right at the top so you're gonna want to hit Edison and with this open you're gonna want to pull whatever song you're gonna sample into this uh, little program inside here and today we're gonna be sampling Lamont Dozier I don't know if I'm saying that right the song's called shine now this song has been sampled a couple times I think uh, Alchemist sampled it for one of his tapes and that one Ghostface song fucking Saturday Night fucking awesome song for a fucking awesome album uh, but you guys probably don't give a fuck what my opinion is but anyways this is the sample what I usually do is listen to the whole sample before I sample it just so I can uh, find a nice spot to sample but uh, I'm not gonna do that this video, of course, because this song is fucking six minutes long. So basically, I got the part that I wanna sample here. I'll play that. The right here. Boom. And what you're gonna wanna do is uh, basically highlight this. This right here is going to be the one bar sample. I'm going to show you uh, one bar and two bar. It's going to be basically time stretching loop. Really simple, really easy to do. And it's going to be uh, the, what you're going to be looking for in here is the kick, snare, kick, snare, snare. Basically a one bar is going to have two snares in it. And it's going to match up with your own drums really good. So after you have that highlighted, the little bit you want to sample, you're going to come over to this button, the little arrow with a page on it, and you're going to want to drag this icon. Ooh, it's floating. And throw it right on the pattern. And bam, you got it right there. You click on that, brings you to the channel settings, and good to normalize it. And then come down here where it says time stretching, and you're going to be focusing on the time knob. What you're gonna want to do is uh, right click on the time knob and hit one bar because this is the part that you sampled from the song that's one bar. It's got the two snares in it. 
really easy to remember especially if you're sampling something with drums in it now I'll uh, I'll actually show you how it sounds without it time stretched doesn't sound that great and really offbeat people's ears are gonna be bleeding and they're probably gonna sue you so after you time stretch it by right clicking on the time knob you hit one bar sounds good this is a two bar pattern so of course it stopped right after one bar so what you're gonna want to do is go back to Edison and take the next bar snare 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 basically you're dragging it up to where the next kicks gonna come in so you got it. bam drag that onto the pattern normalize effect then one bar again because it's just got the two snares in it and right where this ends right here is where you're gonna want to put the next bar because this is one bar and this is gonna be the second bar in the pattern and now you got something that sounds like this You know, sounded pretty good for a simple beat so far. Now, I'm just gonna add one more part to this beat for right now, just for, you know, example purposes. This is gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be taking uh, two bars out of this song, and it's gonna be snare, 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 snare. And this should be uh, two bars right here. It's got four snares in it, because remember, the one bar has got the two snares, and the uh, two bars is gonna have four snares. It's really helpful when you're sampling something with drums because you can count out the snares and be able to match it up with your own snares and it's gonna go on beat. So you're gonna drag this on and cl right click the same time knob but instead of one bar, you're gonna wanna click two bars. Put the effect, normalize, and I'm going to my second pattern here and putting it on my second pattern. And it's gonna sound like Now, uh, if you are actually new to this uh, program, there's a playlist where you basically lay out your patterns. And I'll lay out my first pattern and my second pattern. This is uh, basically how you construct all the patterns into one to make a full beat, and then you're able to extract it into the final copy. So this is how it sounds so far. that's basically it uh, I'm gonna be making other videos about uh, FL studio and how to do uh, different uh, features that are included with the program because it's a really amazing program and I'm not being paid to say that <laughs> and if this uh, has helped you at all uh, just subscribe to the channel tell a friend check out my other videos that are basically some of my beats and some remixes that I've done and leave comments, leave questions, leave suggestions on other videos you want to see, like other stuff you want to see me cover, and I'll be more than happy to, you know, just uh, tell your friends.